Hi guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this cell phone case DIY. Today we're going to be making something really special. Now, I really love the show Friends. I love it still. And one of the things that I really enjoy about the show is Monica Geller's apartment. I think it's so cool and cozy. And one of the things that always caught my attention was the door. And I thought it would be really cool to have like that design on my cell phone case. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now first we need a plastic cell phone case. I'm using plastic, you can use like any material that you'd like. And I tend to recycle my cell phone cases. So once I'm done with one design, I just remove the paint and then move on to the next design. But I'm just going to start this one by painting my base with white acrylic paint and a brush. And I'm going to make sure I cover back, front, sides, pretty much everything. The reason I'm using white first is because I want my next color to really pop. The white paint doesn't have to be like super perfect. I just did one coat. It's just to have like a base for the cell phone. And when you add a white base over any color, it tends to pop a lot more. I found a few images online over Pinterest, Instagram, all over the place. Actually, this is how I got inspired to this. So it gives you kind of like different ideas on how you can approach the frame part, which is kind of like the point of this cell phone case. I'm just going to grab one of the images that I wanted to go for in order to like have a decent frame i wanted a sketch for this with my pencil and i might be using a razor just in case i make any mistakes as i ended up using a lot i ended up um you know going back and forth until i was happy with how my frame looked just take your time relax and it kind of like helps as i'm doing it here to guide myself from images that i see online maybe you can use what i'm doing here as your own reference then i'm going to be taking some yellow acrylic paint and a smaller brush and i'm just going to paint my frame one thing i would highly suggest you is to work with a somewhat good quality acrylic paint the brand that i'm using is americana that i got at michael's and i found that this brand lasts longer than any other brand that i've ever used but you know just a suggestion so um, your design lasts longer once i'm done with the frame i'm just going to be moving on to the rest of the image which is using my purple acrylic paint and a bigger brush first i'm going to fill like the space that i have inside my frame and i'm using a bigger brush because i feel like it's going to be taking me forever if i use a smaller brush and then i'm just going to be covering all the outsides and to start i'm just going to go near the frame but not quite to the edges just yet I'm just going to keep on doing that, keep on painting, and this might take a few coats of paint. Just make sure you cover your sides, the front part, like pretty much everything that is white, you want to make purple. Then I'm just going to be taking this really thin brush that I actually got at my crafts and art supply store, but I'm just going to go and kind of like define my my edge, the one that is next to my frame. The reason I did this with this brush instead of like going with the big one is because just in case I make any mistake, I shake or something like that, I don't want my yellow to be purple. Now, if you make any mistake as I did here, I was kind of like shaky still, just go ahead and take Q-tip with some water and maybe some soap and just try to remove that paint as fast as you can. Now, it's really important for you to do this before your paint dries. So I... I'm going to be doing a few coats of my purple until I have my purple opaque and just looks like this. Then I'm going to be making kind of a mixture between orange and yellow just to give some depth to my frame part. And this part, uh, it's pretty much up to you and like the shade of orange that you want to go for, but this is what I did with mine. And once I'm done, I'm just going to be taking the same brush, the same tiny brush that I used before with my purple color. And I'm just going to frame or just add some, as I mentioned before, depth to my frame part. So pretty much going like 
around the border like on the inside and then making some swirls and some like shapes around it again if you have no idea how to do this or where to go as far as like shapes go use the same image but it's pretty much up to you and kind of like your personal taste if you want to go like for a more super detailed frame or just like i did kind of like a cartoonish we could say sort of look then I'm just going to be taking a dotting tool and you can use the back of a brush as well for this step. And I'm just going to add a small dot. Then with my black acrylic paint, I'm just going to add a smaller dot. And I have a tutorial on this one. Once it's done, I'm just going to be taking this white acrylic paint and I'm just going to be taking a much more detailed dotting tool. I do again have a tutorial on this one. This one is like super tiny and I'm just going to add some dimension there. Then I want my design to be protected and for that I'm going to be using this spray sealer or top coat. Now this is the type that I use and this is the kind of sealers that I go for and I'm just going to spray the whole thing until the whole thing is covered. This is just going to make your design shine a bit more and be protected and yeah this is pretty much the idea that i want to share with you let me know which one is your fave character out of friends and what you like the most about the show and let me know if you like this idea or this design if you go for this and don't forget to send me your recreations over twitter or instagram using the hashtag cute simple stuff and don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and i'll take you later bye guys